Hello and welcome to Flagstaff on what I think is one of the most beautiful days I've ever seen here. Now, most people know Flagstaff is more of a summer destination, but for my money, winter is the time to come. It's especially fun when you get to try something new, and for us, that means cross-country skiing. The Flagstaff Nordic Center has been one of the winter wonders of Flagstaff since around the mid-1980s. Its groomed trails, the icing on the cake of a near perfect location just north of Flagstaff. There's basically three snow pockets in the state of Arizona. This is one of them. We're on the on kind of the northern side of the peaks, which is one of the reasons we get a snow pocket here. We tend to get a little bit more snow and it stays a little bit longer. We're at the base of the Hochtefer Hills. Um, if you look in the background there, that's Kendrick Peak. And um, off on the other side of us are the San Francisco Peaks. We're kind of in the shadow of, of the San Francisco Peaks. What if you don't have a clue about cross-country skiing? <laughs> uh, well, I guess, I guess the appropriate answer is, hey, we can give you a lesson. But uh, the more practical side of me says, you're going to go from point A to point B without a problem. Yep, that would be me not doing it very well. In fact, when James Taylor sings Walking Man, he's really referring to my technique. But the Nordic Center has done everything to make beginners become returners. There's a yurt full of rental gear from beginner-friendly cross-country skis to the shoes, which are way more comfortable than most downhill boots. But the real key here is this big yellow snowcat and the perfectly groomed trails it leaves behind it. I'll tell you what's making it so much easier are these parallel tracks. So when the snowcat goes through and is grooming the wider trail, it's also laying down these parallel tracks and you just glide through them. So as a beginner, you're actually gliding like you're supposed to instead of stepping like you tend to. Now, I've never had biking in the snow very high on my list, but love this. It's really a lot of fun. And snowshoeing is also a lot of fun and a darn good workout, too. We've got trails that are specifically marked for snowshoes. And on those trails, certainly they bring us up into the mountains. Um, they bring us up around all the cabins and yurts. And then we've got some areas like what we're in now, where we're basically blazing our own trail. Another improvement here over the years has been adding more cabins and yurts, which of course is one of my favorite words to say, yurts. And they're perfect for overnighters who want to ski in and ski out of a yurt. Wind will cause them relatively comfortable. Define relatively comfortable. <laughs> um, well, does they, these that are in the backcountry do not have uh, running water or electricity. We've got everything else. You're gonna be warm, you're gonna be comfortable as far as the furniture, but you're not gonna be able to go out and, and you know wash your hands in the sink or just flip on a light switch. No, it's not a five diamond hotel for sure, but people are friendly, not curt in a yurt, and you will have one of the best night's sleep ever after a full day of traveling cross country. I think I'm getting a little bit better feel for this. You know, I was walking, but now I think I'm getting the gliding going. And a little balance, back to gliding, sorta. And the best thing is, nobody's going to criticize your style here because they're all having their own fun in the snow of Flagstaff. Mm -hmm. 